And I'm Tamara. Hey, baby doll. Hey, baby. Hey, what's going on? What's up? So I totally partied last night for my Did birthday. Did you have a hangover? Your eyes are red? Um, just a teeny tiny you little bit. You a good bit. girl? Yeah, I was a yeah, good girl. Fun. Good girl gone bad last night. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I had a blast. And you didn't invite me, I'll kill you for that one. I'm sorry. Okay, well, what are you doing this weekend? I'm busy now. Well, forget you, I'm busy too. <laughs> I won't even be here. Can I get some <laughs> Look, my hair's not even hanging down. I can't even flip it today. <laughs> oh, you're a hot mess sometimes. I know. You know what's a hot mess, though? Let me what? tell you guys out there what is a hot mess. Please tell us. How about this guy raped a woman and then asked her out on a date? How random is that? Well, I don't know if it's random. How it's crazy is that? Crazy and disgusting, disturbing, all the above. I don't yeah. know what to think about that. So apparently he's been knowing the girl, I guess, for a while, sometime now. Mm -hmm. So he raped her. And then like a few months later, asked her out on a date. So I'm taking that she didn't report the rape. He didn't get prosecuted for the rape. Mm -hmm. And what was going on in his mind when he said, I'm going to do this backwards and say, hey, I'm going to rape you first and then ask you out on a date well, later. Well, I need to understand that rape is not just a stranger coming up to mm -hmm. a woman and forcing himself on her. It can be a situation where you could be somebody you know. someone, you could be friends with someone, and whenever a woman says no, you know, and she's not actively wanting to be involved in anything sexual with this person, mm -hmm. that's considered rape. It know? is. So there's a lot of different definitions of what that means. Mm -hmm. So maybe they were trying to date or maybe they were friends and he or, did this to her. Or maybe her. he was sending her mix. Maybe he thought she was sending him mixed signals. And, mm -hmm. you know, some people can read into certain signals that you send out the wrong way. Exactly. So maybe she was flirting with him a little bit too much that day. And he kind of took it as, oh, she likes me. She wants me today. And totally just blew it into something, blew it up into something that it really wasn't. But how sad is that? Yeah, that's really. I would have probably looked at him. Is. We would probably be fighting if he thought it was cool that he could ask me out on a date after yeah, he raped me. Yeah, I would definitely never be talking to someone again it, had that gone down. I mean, I'd be wanting yeah. him to be in jail. I would try jail, to prosecute exactly. him. Yeah, right. exactly. So, you don't know what the situation is yeah, we don't know the full story behind it. We don't know if he was prosecuted, if they're still friends. I don't know. I just can't see someone still being out walking the streets that raped me, and everything is just cool. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, maybe he really liked her. I don't know. But she needs to do something about that. Yeah, I don't know. No means no. <laughs> Remember that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the situation is or whatever the case may be. If a woman does not consent to sex, mm -hmm. that's a no, buddy. Any kind of situation. Yeah. Even if you're her boyfriend or her husband, if she's not wanting it, don't give it to her. Don't try to take it. Exactly. It's wrong guys trying to take it all the time. Trying to take our goodies. I know. Anyway. Keep the goodies on lockdown. <laughs> keep, keep the cookies in the jar with the lock on it. Keep the cookies in the cookie jar. <laughs> All right, on that note, we're going to go ahead and introduce our guest today. His stage name is The Fugitive. He's an up-and-coming rapper from Queens, New York. Come on over. Welcome. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm great. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. All right. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you start wanting to become a rapper? Was it something that you always wanted to do as a child or you kind of just stumbled upon it? No, no, never wanted to be a rapper. Okay. Never wanted to be a rapper, you know. Um, I just happened to have the talent. Mm -hmm. And as I started doing promotions about 10 years ago, I uh, ran into a lot of talented people. Okay. They gave me some tracks, started recording, got real hot, started doing shows around the city. Got even hotter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Way to toot your own horn. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> All right, so you never wanted to be a rapper. What did you want to be then? I just wanted to be rich. All right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you know when you was in school and they say, what do you want to be when you grow up? You wanted to be rich. Yeah. So what steps were you looking at taking to make that a reality? You just wanted to wake up one day uh, and say, I want to be rich? To make that a reality, I knew I had to stay in school. Mm-hmm. So I figured I figured it out sooner or later. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, in like 96, I was like in my second, third year of college, mm -hmm. and uh, Tupac got killed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I realized I'd never seen him perform live. Oh, okay. And that bothered me, you know, to this day, you know. But so I figured, you know, some, some, you know somebody dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even come to the city. I, I was living in Savannah. Shout out to Seaport City. Okay. Savannah in the building, you know. Um, 
but he never came. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, so me and my man was talking about it. We just decided to start a promotion company. Invited a lot of acts, do a lot of shows, a lot of parties, managed groups all throughout the Savannah area. They know me. Okay. And um, from there, I just brought it to the big city. Mm -hmm. So what brought you to Georgia? Was it school or? Well, it was, uh, you know, New York, you know, it's the same old story. You know what I'm saying? You talk to anybody from New York that's in the South now, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. New York got crazy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And um, my grandmother moved us down to Savannah because she was already living down there. And um, we just kept it going from there. Mm -hmm. Do you like the South okay? I mean, have you acclimated to it? It's very different than New York. True. You know, I love the South, you know. Nice weather. Yeah, weather's nice much women, better. Mm -hmm. Nice food. <laughs> you yeah. know, I, I like a lot of things about the South. But, you know, I mean, that, that's a good thing about this country, period. Mm -hmm. You know, everywhere you go is something different. Mm -hmm. So is your style of music more... Uh, like universal now because you are in the South and you kind of have that flair or you stick into like East Coast New exactly. York music? Exactly. My, my music is definitely universal. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people say, hey man, you know, you need to, you know, go up to New York and play that up there and stuff like that. I'm like, <clears throat> no, you know, I'm gonna play it right here. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. know, I'm gonna play it right here. New York, and get it when I go. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be up there next month, you know. But I live here in Atlanta, you know, so I'm going to take over Atlanta and um, take it out west to L.A. Plans okay. go to LA, so it's it's universal. It's not nothing that you're gonna hear and say, oh, you know, that's from here, that's from there. Mm -hmm. you know, it's more, you know, you can hear my accent. Mm. Obviously, that, yeah. You know, <laughs> other than that, you know, what I'm saying the tracks, it, the music I make is all about the producers. Okay. Shout out okay. to Drugs. Shout out to all the producers I work with. Okay. KD. And what would you say? you rap about are you rapping about the typical stuff that every other rapper is rapping about are you rapping about a life that you've never led before or that you're currently leading or are you just kind of what you rap about you actually live that life you know what i rap about whatever you want me to rap about so you just pretty much you go in the studio and whatever if they say make me a gangster track you in the studio you're gonna make a you gangster know what? track I'm, I'm not a gangster no more Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't put in all that type of work no more. I mean, you know, there was a time, you know, I, my music I draw from my experiences. Mm. You know, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, when I pull up in my Bentley, you know, and, and all that, you know what I'm saying? Because even when I get a million dollars, I'm not going to make it rain. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I'm the dude that sold crack on the train. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, food stamps when they were papers. You know, I, I had a full-time job when I was six years old. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Up in New York when it snowed, I shoveled snow. When it was summertime, we collected cans. I, I, I was always, you know, about trying to get some money. Mm -hmm. But I never liked jail. Yeah. You know, I, never, I never liked jail. I don't think nobody likes jail. Well, some people do. Yeah, so, some like, people keep going back. Yeah. So you, you right. look at it like you got to like it. Yeah. You keep going back. Not only that, but they're comfortable when they're there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, that's a good word for I can't it. Do right. it. I, can't, I can't even get comfortable around that many men. Well, so you, um, I've read that, you know, you kind of had a tough life growing up is, you know, you've been incarcerated before, and do you draw from that experience from? Of course. And, <laughs> you, and you've saying? been shot as well, too, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, you know, the night I, I call that the night I should have died, you know, but, um, yeah, you know, back when, when it was happening and all of that, I didn't look at it as being tough, it was just a way of life, you know, mm -hmm. it was just the life I was living. I look back at it now and be like, wow, I, I can't believe I did all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But. That's that's the good thing about you know still living. You know mm -hmm. you get to turn those negatives into positives, mm -hmm. and and if you do it the right way, you get to influence and inspire other people that might have had it worse because everybody got a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. Coming from a background like yours, wouldn't you say that there's like either two roads that you can take? One, like you said, you can use all the struggle, the hustle mentality, and you know I think even doing things illegally or however you want to say it. <coughs> But it makes you who you are as far as a businessman. You can make smart decisions. You have that hustle, so you want to make money, you want to be successful. Mm -hmm. Or there's the people that have that lifestyle where it actually defeats them, and they make poor decisions for the rest of their life, and they do stay in jail always. What do you think makes you the other version of that? You know, like, How do you come out to be motivated and to turn that into a positive thing? You hit it on the head. That was that was pretty good right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, every day it's a it's a it's a it's a struggle. Like you know, what do I do? You know, right. do I just kick the door in and take what I want because mm -hmm. I know I can. Right. You know, so, you know, um, just like the topic for the day earlier. You know, do do you know? Does no mean no? Mm -hmm. 
if, if I in certain to, cases, you know yeah. what I mean. If, there's no <laughs> if, somebody, if somebody tells me no, do I have to accept that? You know, some people don't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. So, getting back to your question, um, what keeps me from crossing that line, the, the fine line, mm -hmm. is my faith in God. Okay. And and um, you know, my grandmother, my mother, you know, the the forefathers, you know, um, all the civil rights leaders, all of the slaves that that made it across the Mid Atlantic Passage. Um, you know, I, I feel a high obligation. You know, I, I, failure is not an option for me. Mm -hmm. You know, failure is not an option for me to, you know, I can't stand on a corner and, and get locked up every day or every month or every year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I have a higher obligation to inspire people coming up mm -hmm. so that they can actually help me and help us in what we're trying to accomplish. Because we all, we all Americans, we all have the same goals, you know what I'm saying, when it, when it boils down to it. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just how we try to go about it. Very true. Yeah. Well, tell us about some of your up-and-coming projects that you've been working on, that you have coming out, any shows, anything where the people can see you at. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> um, too bad I couldn't perform today, you know what I'm saying? I'd have gave y'all, would have blew one hand, blew y'all away. All right. Well, you'll have to come back and perform <clears throat> for us then. Hey, give me a call. All right. Um, we'll do. My project I'm working on right now is the CD right here. Okay. Uh, never been guilty. This is my album, The Fugitive, mm -hmm. Never Been Guilty. Okay. This is the, the reason why I'm here right now. It's got uh, 15 tracks on it. Crazy, classic. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, that's yours. Thank you. Do you have any features on here? I've got a couple of them. Uh, that's yours. Thank you, dear. Thank hey, you. Put that in the car. Check it out. Put that in the car. We got you. We got right you. Now. From the studio oh, to the, the car, we got you. Here. You're a little intimidating, though, <laughs> must Well, that's my point. I like shock value. Okay. So, are you performing anywhere? Do you have any shows, any gigs I do coming shows up? All the time. Uh, Secrets Lounge. I'm, I'm there every Friday and Saturday night. Uh, what is today? <laughs> today is Monday. I might go hang out at um, Ti's Club Crucial. No, today's Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah, today's right. Thursday. Today's Thursday. <laughs> today's Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know where I'm at. I'm going to be at. All right. Figure out. <laughs> yeah, figure out. Yeah. But, uh, okay. but, uh, I am coming to a stage near you in a club near you. I'm, I'm going on the Bright Lights Big City tour. Okay. All over Atlanta. All right. Everywhere. I'm yeah. talking from here to the end of the city. Hit about 40, 50 clubs. Just kill them. All right. That's what's up. Well, do you have any Facebook, Twitter, um, any websites where people can go and listen to your music if they don't have your um, CD? Where they can well, go I got a couple that. of songs on, on, on my MySpace. That right there is hot. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's, that's hot off the press. It's unreleased. All right. You know what I'm saying? So You heard it here. Hot yeah. off the press exactly. here at Verbalize. Unreleased. So, no, all that stuff is not on MySpace. Okay. Well, what, what is your MySpace? That way they can on hear some of your past music. MySpace.com backslash The Fugitive Online. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, I'm on Facebook, The Fugitive. Okay. You know, the Fugitive Live at Yahoo.com for email. All right. But um, Twitter? No Twitter? No, I don't tweet. You don't tweet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't tweet. You know okay. Saying? Well, I'll. at least. I'm going to let y'all do all the Twitter in front of me. Okay. Yeah, I tweet enough for everybody here, so I'll have to shout you out on Twitter. That, that would be nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it was definitely a pleasure to have you here. We wish you the best of luck. Like I said, you'll have to come back on Verbalize and perform for us mm -hmm. one day. So we wish you the best of luck. Definitely. I appreciate right. it. No problem. The fugitive. <laughs> Watch right. out. Right. Be That's sure right. to cop that CD, you guys, The Fugitive. That's thank right. you at home for watching. Be sure to tune in daily for more great topics and great guests. I'm Tamara. I'm Christina. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. I decided to get paid, took the road to riches, sent the snitches to early graves. I was vicious up in NY, flipped it up in GA, pimping the panda and Georgia peaches on hot days, flipping